Hello YouTube, my name is Octopus Joey, and I have no idea why I've never made a video specifically about Zelda. Legend of Zelda is probably my favorite game series, yet I've only really mentioned it in top 10s. And with the new installment, Breath of the Wild, coming out next year, I think it's only appropriate to finally talk about free-to-play fan-made games that you play in your browser. I mean, who needs good games when you have poorly made potential copyright infringement? So today, I'm gonna play some Legend of Zelda Flash games, starting with The Legend of Zelda, The Seeds of Darkness. Let's talk about the name for a second. It's stupid. I'm gonna be comparing the name of this game to Ocarina of Time. Why? Because they're both physical object of idea or concept. The name Ocarina of Time makes a lot of sense, not only because it's named after an item you get in the game, but also because Ocarina and Time are both relevant to the gameplay. Seeds of Darkness refers to the thing you're supposed to destroy. Destroying seeds makes sense in context of the story, if you can even call it that, since they're waiting to grow and spread sadness and anger, or some crap like that. But out of context, it just sounds... off. And darkness? How can you get more generic than that? So anyway, the game itself is pretty bad. There's a bomb following you constantly, and you can't move to the next screen unless it's right next to you. This game is also stupidly unintuitive. I've played this game a few times before recording this, and I still cannot find out where you're supposed to go. Seriously, the whole game is basically just a stupid maze with seemingly no exit. The only positive thing I could say about this game is that it at least replicates 2D Zelda controls pretty well, while some of the games that I will play later do not. Next up, Zelda 64 Minigames. It's a collection of four shooting games based on some of Ocarina of Time's assets. I like how the graphics were actually made manually rather than just ripped from other Zelda games, kind of like the way Seeds of Darkness did it. But I think the text, these borders, and the crosshair had a little too much coffee or something, because they won't stop jittering. Anyway, in the first game, you shoot a moving target. It's pretty easy. In the second game, you shoot cuckoos. Yeah, that'll teach them not to fly in a straight line like that. Seriously though, why? Aren't Cuckoos known for being, like, kind of immortal or something? The third game is a remake of the rupee shooting game from Ocarina of Time, only much worse. Why is it worse? First of all, the start button is over here, and immediately rupees start spawning over here. Second, it doesn't work. I slowed down this clip so that you can see, frame by frame, why this game is stupid. And the last game in this amazing collection is one where you have to shoot Navi the Fairy before she manages to kill you with her electric attack that she's never had before. As great as it may sound to some of you who have played Ocarina of Time and know how terrible Navi is, it's about as annoying as trying to swat a fly with a pencil, only the fly is on more caffeine than this stupid crosshair! So yeah, this game kinda sucks. Adventures of Zelda! Adventures of Zelda? Zelda isn't having an adventure, Link is. But I guess the name Adventure of Link was already taken, so... yeah. This game has absolutely no sound, and I'm not sure if that makes the game feel creepier or cheaper. Probably both. It seems like every other screen has an enemy that immediately walks into you. Definitely fair. Also, this game is glitchy. There's an empty space here that leads to a screen that doesn't exist, thus immediately sending you back and respawning the enemies. Also, there are enemies that you can't kill sometimes for no reason. And this freaking archer, you can't kill him with your sword, his arrows don't move, and he's just completely broken. I lost my bomb bag? What kind of sense does that make? Now I gotta go back and get it again! Eventually I died, and I think this is the best game over screen I have ever seen. If you're somehow still wondering, no, this game is not worth playing. Legend of Zelda, Can of Whoop Donkey. I take it back, Seeds of Darkness isn't that bad of a name. Come to think of it, this name is also physical object of idea or concept. Anyway, all you do is kill enemies and occasionally cuckoos in an oddly disorienting 3D space for two minutes. The reason I say it's disorienting is because it's hard to tell whether you can hit these enemies with 2D sprites or if you're too far back. But that's about all there is to it. Oh hey, I died. OMFG. Wake me up, boy, Okay, I was wrong about Adventures of Zelda having the best game over screen. What is this? Link is being strangled by a redhead and there's a rainbow and some very happy music that I really hope I don't get a content ID strike for. And Zelda just comes out of nowhere and starts speaking in text-to-speech? Why? And how often do you see game over screens that just flat out tell you, you suck? Now I really want to see what the ending is like. Oh, well, that's disappointing. 
I was hoping Ganondorf would come out, start Yo, speaking in text to speech, and then he'd be there with that funny face that he makes at the end of Ocarina of Time. And there's a flower pot next to him, and YMCA by the village people is playing in the background, and there's big red text that says, You don't suck. Now that's a picture that screams victory. But really though, if you want a tedious game where you play as Link and do nothing but kill enemies, just stick to Hyrule Warriors. Legend of Zelda NES fan game? I'm not entirely sure what this is, but I think it's broken. First I got stuck here, then I tried again and killed this thing, and then the game froze. Next. The Legend of Zelda Lampshade of No Real Significance is a parody game. Only problem is, it's boring. It made me laugh a little bit, but it's not that funny, and the gameplay... well... It's nothing but one big fetch quest that ends with you putting a lampshade in a room. I also love how you can't move diagonally. I will say, however, that it's definitely the most original, the most likely to be considered fair use, and the best out of all the Zelda Flash games I've played so far. The only other thing of note about it is that it keeps the physical object of idea or concept naming system. The Legend of Zelda Collecting of Pills. Why are these names so terrible? It's Pac-Man with Link to the Past sprites and a five second music loop. Next, Ultimate Zelda Quiz. You know it's gonna be amazing because it has ultimate in the title and it plays epic Zelda music. Although mute and unmute are two separate buttons. And if you click the unmute or music button repeatedly, this happens. Anyway, the quiz itself isn't that bad. I think it's stupid that the answer to what does the sun's song do is it does three things. But other than that, it has some interesting questions and it has some decent progression having a hard mode and an extreme mode. And what's your reward for answering all 25 of these questions? You get to view a ridiculously compressed version of the intro to the Legend of Zelda cartoon from the 80s, of course. What else would it be? Legend of Zelda, Link's Backyard. Like Seeds of Darkness, the controls are remade pretty well. But the text. Holy crap, the text. So I guess this game is unfinished, and the developer, who probably doesn't speak English, decided to add his own commentary. This time I have added hearts, which refill live. The rupees still give you money, lucky you, and the enemies is now able to kill you. Don't take suicide, that's gross. So I died because of poor enemy placement, and I gotta ask, why doesn't anyone who makes Zelda Flash games know how to make a game over screen? Comic Sans, emoticons, sarcastic comments, why? Toad is the villain in this game, why? Because Link stole his money, bag- <coughs> No, my censorship isn't off-center. He didn't put a space between bag and- <coughs> Link stole his money, bag- <coughs> So anyway, the final, and only boss, has two stages. First, these things. I did nothing but match the sword button, and I only got hit once. And then there's Toad. Just watch. You know, that was pretty hard. I should take a break and play something a little more laid back. Link from Zelda Dress Up. In this game, you can dress Link up in all sorts of different colors of the exact same thing. I love how they don't even snap on, you basically just have to line it up perfectly. But that's okay, because you can give Link sunglasses and white hair. Or even better, rainbow hair! I'm way too old and not female to be playing this. I need to play something manlier. Like Legend of Zelda Valentine's Day Quest. The story of this game is that it's Valentine's Day, and Zelda won't be Link's Valentine unless he buys her flowers. In fact, she flat out demands them. Cause Zelda has always been known for being materialistic and selfish, especially when she- Ocarina of Time spoiler alert, skip to this time code if you haven't beaten Ocarina of Time. Especially when she teaches Link songs that let him teleport purely for his own convenience so that he won't have to run back and forth as much. Oh no, the flower store is out of flowers, so you have to bring the guy water and magic dirt so that he can magically make new flowers or something. Eventually I found dirt and water, but he still couldn't make flowers because the dirt I have isn't magic dirt. So basically, this dirt is just there to trick you. I could not find the magic dirt anywhere. I spent several minutes listening to the same stupid Lon Lon Ranch guitar cover on repeat looking for this magic dirt and never found it. All you really need to know about this game is that it's a stupid fetch quest, I'd imagine it's probably really unrewarding, and it's not worth playing. So most of these were terrible, and I'm not sure if I'd say any of them are good. Sadly, the best one was just a weird quiz game. None of them had good stories, and none of them had good gameplay. I know most of these were fan projects, but a lot of them just rip off other Zelda games and don't really do anything original. 
I guess that's what happens when you make unlicensed Zelda games without any quality control. My name is Octopus Joey. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and click either of the videos on screen for more. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash octojoey and follow me on social media at twitter.com slash octojoey and facebook.com slash octopusjoey.